Well, welcome everybody. It's a, it's a great day, and it's a day that's been coming a long time. Uh, you know, Johnny Yu is uh, very, very important to us and, and, and for our tradition and our heritage. And he's just been, a, you know, I think when anybody talks about University of Louisville, talk about Johnny Unitas. And so it was very important to us when we started this expansion, uh, the, the coming full circle project that you see down to your down to, down to my left, uh, that we were able to, to move Johnny. So we. We wanted to make sure that we opened it up to our fans. I think we've talked about this many times, but we opened it up to our fans and got a lot of suggestions and different ideas. But the couple only parameters that I wanted to live by was that I wanted him inside our gates so he couldn't be vandalized. Um, not by our fans, of course, but I wanted to make sure that he could also be touched by our, our fan base because that was one of the complaints we had for him being down in the north end zone on the ground. Really, our fans couldn't get down there. So being up here, with the other 40,000 fans that supposedly sit up here during the game, it'll be a great place for them to keep company with. So uh, we're, we're excited. We think this is a great place, and uh, our, our fan base, any, any seat in the house can get up here and, and have a nice picture taken with Johnny. So, any questions? What were some of the suggestions that people have given and maybe you would have had some? Well, there wasn't any really negatives, and Mark's going to talk more of that. Mark dealt with this quite a bit more than I did. I think one of the probably the common spot was probably at the very top of the point over there. But again, that's very difficult for our fan base to get to. This is this is simple, and like I said before, because the majority of our fans are out here anyway, they might as well take advantage of it. I think from my standpoint, it's going great. Mark knows all the details a lot more than I do, but uh, he'll give you those in a second. We'll hand it off to him, and he'll explain to you how we really got to this process. Got through this process. With Game Day coming here, can you just talk about the setup and the excitement that's Well, it's it's fantastic for our fan base and it's so well deserved. I think everybody got a taste of this last year and what a monumental moment that was last year against Florida State and then to be able to follow it up again this year. And then somebody told me that we've had four game days uh, in the in the entire conference in the last uh, year or two or whatever it is, and uh, three of them have been involved in Louisville. So two at our home, that's pretty special and so we're, we're so appreciative of everything that they do for us at ESPN. We're, we're excited about the big game. and We know it's an unbelievable challenge against Clemson, but just to, to hear the electricity in this community, this region, the state, everything, it's just phenomenal. And then to see our student body, how excited they are, and to be able to have game day and to have it in Belknap campus and right in the middle of the Oval, I think that's going to be a great, great location for it and a lot of fun. But I, I think on a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 15, John. Right. Well, the most important thing to us right now is construction. We want to get that done and going, and so we weren't going to disrupt that, and certainly ESPN didn't ask us to do it all, because construction is good. We've always said cranes are a good thing to have on campus, and we seem to have plenty of them. But the, the, the exciting part about, about all the logistics that went into it was uh, that, it was, that it got done. And, you know, we were, we were alerted right after our game at North Carolina as the final whistle went off is when we got the call that we might have a chance to move it. Uh, I know Kenny spoke at the press conference on Monday. Uh, Bob Gunnell deserves a big round of applause for the, and, and thanks for what he did and what the Marriott did to make it all happen for them to be able to get their rooms, secure their rooms, be, and be able to stay there uh, throughout the day because it, without that we would have been playing at 3.30. So to be able to be on ABC primetime, that's a very, very special occasion. So we're excited about it. Is it difficult to find a spot for the show to set? Oh, I don't think so, no. Kenny, well, ESPN's got a lot of ideas. They work very close with Kenny, and Kenny works very close with the university personnel. and. You know, I think that was a very logical place. Yeah, quite a relationship with ESPN. Well, it's going back to Thursday games. Right? Tuesday games. Tuesday games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. And it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I remember 20 years ago when we started playing those games, Thursdays, Fridays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. We played in any night we could because we thought that exposure would really plant the seeds to build a great program and give us the exposure and the, and the branding that we needed, not only nationally but internationally, and I think it worked. And, uh, there's a lot of things we do that don't work. I think that one did work. With the, with the stats that you mentioned, did you sense that, that it was going to be a topic with a lot of discussion and a lot of fans? Oh, yeah, because he's so popular. Johnny Unitas is so popular, and that is a brand name in itself. And so we wanted to make sure we, we were very sensitive and caring, and we wanted our fans to be in, involved in it. Not only was it a, a, a business decision, a logistical decision, but it was an emotional decision, and it was something I think that brought a lot of fun. And we had so many people get involved and give us the great ideas of what we wanted to do. And, and I think this was pretty much, I, I won't say unanimous, because nothing is unanimous that you do in athletics, but this is as close to unanimous and consensus as we could get. 
Mark's going to speak on that, Charlie. He's he's the one handling all that. So. I'm kidding. Well, I, it's already started, so I don't know what you're kidding about. <laughs> no, it's, Lamar's a great one, and we, we will deal with those at the appropriate times. And we have a lot of other young uh, student athletes that are that are growing older that have did a lot of great things in our past uh, history. You know, for the last probably 50 to 75 years that that we have a lot of different plans for. So. Those are on the drawing board, and we, we hope we get to those real soon. Anything else for Tom? I want to pass it off to Mark here. Mark really handled this project, so he's the one that can answer the question.